Welcome to a time of Bible readings and hymns with your host, David Kenny of the Wadsworth Church of Christ on West Good Avenue in Wadsworth, Ohio. When the moonlight glows, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. The Book of Job, Chapter 2, from the King James Version. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking upon and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? And still he beholdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a potsherd to scrape himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thy integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What, shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this Job did not sin with his lips. Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Tenemite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite, for they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they lifted up their eyes afar off and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept, and they rent every one his mantle, and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward heaven. So they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spake a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Dangers of the night, a man to 
truth. How pure is every page that holy book shall guide our youth and well support and our support our and well support our age. Lord of Aberdeen. Bible Readings and Hymns with your host, David R. Kenny, with The Church of Christ in Wadsworth, Ohio. Recorded at WCTV Studios with music provided by Andy Robison, www.churchofchristsongs.com. Bible Readings and Hymns has been produced by the Gospel Broadcasting Network.